everybody uh, welcome to wedding film school live um how's everybody doing tonight how do you guys like the the intro is that cool i'm gonna i am going to i got to pull up the chat i'm gonna bring up the chat the chat over hey so um so we're gonna be doing a film reviews tonight um i'm gonna do two camera angles by the way so hopefully you guys like that um film reviews tonight and then um you know, it's one of those things where, I, th to me, this is what Wedding Film School is all about. Um, this is what it's all about, which is, A, hanging out with filmmakers. Um, can you guys hear me well, by the way? If you can't, just give me a holler. But um, hanging out with filmmakers and talking about cool stuff, the work that we do, which is making films. And, and this is how we get better. We get better by connecting with one another. Um, not just by me. So I want some feedback from the audience. So if you're here, I want you to just go ahead and post, say where you're from. Um, let's do uh, I'll do a classic uh, youth group slash uh, high school kid icebreaker. Where you're from, favorite ice cream flavor. Where you're from, favorite ice cream flavor. Uh, it's classic. But while you guys are doing that, popping down into the chat, whether you're on Facebook or whether you're on uh, YouTube, um, tonight's live stream is brought to you by yolo live creators of the yolo box seriously i'm holding it upside down like a dope um this thing is dope speaking of dope um really awesome um what's great about this is of course it does live streaming um i'll just create a new stream right here it's going to be called yo it does live streaming it does all the stuff but what's also cool about it is it actually records, which is a feature that I think a lot of people maybe wouldn't think about, but like you can record a, like a 1080 backup of a mixed ceremony. Um, Moose Tracks is awesome, by the way. Moose Tracks is awesome. Must be nice to be in the free land of Florida right now. Um, this thing is great. It lets you pick all these different sources from our list. We've preloaded ours for our weddings. You can add multiple video sources. 
HDMI one, two, three, um, HDMI, um, two of them, two of the inputs, one output. And what's really cool about it too is it's 4G. So even if you don't have Wi-Fi or Ethernet, um, it has both. So, um, so tonight we're going to be doing four films, I think, maybe five if we have time. A um, bunch of different ones. And um, we're going to get started with a film from Brandon Snipe. Um, and he said, this is my first wedding for a close friend. We used GH5, GH5S with a gimbal slider and brought my own lights for most of the setups. Road wireless, go for audio. I definitely learned a ton, as you would on your first wedding. Um, and would do things much differently next time. But I'm happy with the results of my first wedding video. Um, here's the thing. There's kind of no such thing as a bad first wedding film. Like, there's nothing that I could play right here. I guess, like, there's not nothing. But basically nothing you could play right here that would make me be like, you should quit. Um, what's up, Snipe? How you doing? So I, I've seen this film, and before we do it, um, I was just going to say, hey, uh, Brandon, um, great job. Great job. Um, but let's go ahead and play the film. Um, uh, keep in mind, guys, it's uh, YouTube. It's going to have a compression. Um, so the audio is me. Sounding, it sounds better in real life. So we're not going to be judging the film too much by audio. So the way we always look at our films is we're going to be looking at cinematography, um, which is really just how well did you use your camera? How was your composition? How was your lighting, um, color, all those things? We're going to be looking at story, which is really more how did you communicate um, the couple to me. And I think with wedding films, th what I'm really looking forward is, did, did you communicate who the couple is? Did you communicate the vibe of the day? And maybe uh, a little bit, if we can get into the, the vibe of the couple, what are they like? What is their personality? I think when we're looking at a wedding film, that's pretty much what we're talking about with story. Um, and editing is just, what's your chops? Are you a good editor? Are you learning? Um, do you have certain things that you're really strong in? Do you have jump cuts, um, literally jittery things where you could have trimmed the edges of clips off of? Um, I think this is where color can come in, some of the color grading choices. And that can be a little tricky because some bad decisions that people make are made in camera and some are made in the edit bay. Um, and some of the good choices that you make are in camera and some are in the edit bay. So and we're going to be looking at those things. And of course, sound is a big, big part of it. So, um, so let's check it out. Um, yeah. Here we go. That's how, that's how you say, here we go. Not that one. Switch. All right. Um, so l let me know how the sound is, guys, if it needs to be louder, quieter. Um, so here we go. Dear the love of my life. Dang. Here we are. <laughs> this. Whoa. No, I am restarted it. My bad. Dear the love of my life, dang, here we are. <laughs> this is the day that we have been waiting for. I have to say that if I had it my way, I would have married you the first time I saw you. Haha, <laughs> ha. I know that might sound very cliche, but it's true. My Prince Charming, our big day is finally here. I've dreamed of getting married ever since I was a little girl, and you have completely filled all the hopes and dreams. I've prayed for this day ever since you proposed, and I know many others have as well. Right now, I pray over you that you feel confident of the love that I have for you. You gave me the once in a life. So um, I'm not going to point it out every single time, but one of the things you want to be looking at, and it's kind of throughout the film, is um, just there seems to be, when you're looking at a thing like this, you have a lot of um, orange, 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 and you just have bad light in this room. And so one of the things you want to keep in mind is just look at her um, robe. It's pretty yellow. I would think you could have cooled that down a little bit in camera. And the other thing is try to get your brides and grooms um, near a window, at least for some of it. Um, you don't need to show all the real stuff when it comes to getting ready. I think this is one of the biggest mistakes young filmmakers make um, and 
is they try to show, they show all this getting ready stuff, tons and tons and tons of getting ready stuff. And I think the longer you do it, maybe the more intentional your getting ready stuff is instead of just showing all this stuff of people getting ready where maybe it doesn't look that flattering. Um, so I would say there's a lot of um, white balance issues because the light is bad. And so the more experience you'll get, you'll learn to deal with, um, You'll learn to deal with combination white balances, issues like this where there's bad light and all that. Really experienced filmmakers try to put, as they say, put them in their best light. Put them in the best light possible. Um, and if you can't, maybe don't put it in the film. You know, try to shoot enough that you don't have to put bad looking footage in your film. But that's my two cents. There's a lot of yellow in the and even blue and just poorly white balanced, poorly lit um, that we want to avoid. So. Here we go. Time type of feeling that you only get, well, once in a lifetime. This whole marriage thing is going to be crazy. There will be hard days and there will be amazing days. There will be healthy days and there will be sick days too. There will be days where you will probably want to kill me because, let's be real, I can be a pain. But as we have seen throughout our story, love conquers all. Today we start our forever journey together with God. This is where we have all the uh, blue, blue, blue on his shirt. Um skin tone is bad. Um, your shadows are kind of crumbling apart. So I would have just said like, there's something I, like, even though it's not perfect, I like the idea for the composition that you had there, but I would really, I could see that window coming from the right side and I would have liked to see him by that window in better light. And then just kind of look at his shirt. He's got a lot of, there's just a lot of magenta throughout the entire shot. It's very red. Um, and so, yeah, you, but you want to get that shirt. You want to get that shirt white and not blue. I literally cannot contain my excitement for today. I pray that you feel confident that God has created us to love each other forever. And that God will cast away all your anxieties you're currently having. Today is going to be beautiful no matter what happens. If you get nervous, talk to God and let him take your nerves away from you. See how much better that looks. Um, still a lot of magenta in the skin tones. That, and that could just be a personal choice. Or maybe just a really red person. Um, and it actually looks a little different on my monitor than it does on the YouTube. So but regardless, um, the look how much better it looks when he's by that window. Um, I, I think the composition could have been better. And that's just a, a little too close. And like ask them to slow down a little bit and kind of be like, Hey, can I get this shot? Can I get the shot? Don't, don't hesitate to do that kind of stuff. Um, especially when you know, you're like the other stuff didn't look so great. Um, yeah. Moving on. If you get emotional <laughs> that you can't talk, just think about what am I Savannah? Is. This is a storytelling thing for me. When you have a awkward pause like that, if you don't show them pausing and crying, um, I would say don't sh keep the pause in there. Um, you, cause you have this pause. He goes, um, he says something, but th he's crying, getting emotional. I would show that if that's important to you to show the emotion, show the pot, like put it on camera so people can see the pause. Um, if not, maybe just cut the pause out and just get to the next line. So it doesn't feel like a weird pause, but as you call it, and I'm sure it will make you laugh. Many people would describe this night as the beginning of a book they are writing together, but I describe ours as a song. Tonight is the intro to that song and every new chapter of life in a new verse that we write together. The melody of ebb and flow, adding minor chords here and there. But all of that will lead back into a beautiful chorus full of passion, grace, and love. This life is my song to you, Savannah Megan Kelly, and I can't wait to sing it every day with you forever. I pray that when we say I do, that God blesses and protects our marriage. I pray that today we live in the moment and we have the best night of our lives. I cannot wait for forever with you. And I pray God helps us to get to forever together. I would move on from that stuff sooner. There's a lot of this. It's not that interesting to watch people sing with no music. Mm -hmm. 
Um, while while we're watching it, um, Brandon, did they expect a certain length of film? Did they expect a certain length in film, Brandon, or did you just deliver the so length sat, film that you did? Uh, to write my vows. Answer that in the comments. Many times, <laughs> and I just couldn't put what I wanted from my brain onto a piece of paper. But here are the things that I want to say to you. Um, first, I want to thank you for, um, well, putting up with me, um, <laughs> <laughs> loving me um, through my faults, um, through my downfalls. Um, I thank you for walking with through me through um, just this journey of life. When you came into my life, it was a really difficult time for, for me and for my family. And you walked with me through all of that. And that was, I needed you. And I love you for that. Um, I love you for becoming a Minnesota Vikings fan with me. That's huge. I'm going to show you something back there that you don't want. And this is just a, an editing mistake. It's not a shooting mistake. But when you're editing, you got to use that T-shift. Get rid of these um, these transitional kind of camera moves. Um, you see this a lot in young filmmakers. So you want to you get rid of stuff like that. And here it um, comes. I love you for becoming that little the gimbal move. Just get rid of it. Like, cut it out. That's, that's a mistake. Minnesota Vikings fan with me. That's huge. <laughs> that's so huge because it's just me out here. <laughs> and um, just. How do you know the streams don't disappear? Cheer me on and, and be my biggest cheerleader. Um, I love you more than I can even say. I love you more than that's a weird shot expressed to you in this moment. Um, but I'm wondering why you held this shot that long. Um, I, I think it's because of the groom's reaction. You got to get a tighter lens. You got to be able to punch in there. Um, yeah, that just doesn't work. Uh, that photographer too. What the heck is that dude doing? Um, but anyway, yeah, that, that I, I, I just, Maybe you show up for a second, but you're hanging on real long on the shot. And I would say this is why you you get a 7200 or some kind of tight lens and you get up on the – when you think about like the groom reaction shots that people like, which of course I understand why they like them, um, he's reacting there. The reason they like him is because you can see the faces. There's a bunch of things going on here. First of all, you got a combination white balance. All their shirts look blue. It should be white balance for their shirts. It's going to make the back a little more orange, but it's – fine it's sunlight um second of all it's a little under underexposed i know you have a combination here too so that's tricky but i would go for my people and then it needs to be tighter like and and, and it's too long in the edit too so there's a lot of stuff with this that is, could be better that song i wrote for you um a few years ago um says everything that i want to say to you um, and that is that you are my once in a lifetime person, um, my person that uh, I want to be with for the rest of my life. And I love you. Jacob, <laughs> you are everything I've dreamed of since I was a little girl. I always struggle with love, but you helped me walk through that. You helped me break down my walls I had built up over the years. The most important thing is that you did it gently. You knew my past and my hurts and you helped me grow into the woman I am today. I am now more confident than ever. I can trust you without hesitation. Blue dress, blue dress. I'm just going to always just stop it, say blue dress, move on, but blue dress. So, you know, let's warm that. Let's warm her up. We don't want a blue dress. We want a nice white dress. Um, and I would just lift it. It's just people are nervous about this because the background gets blown out. My opinion is I'd rather see a blown out background than underexposed people. Um, I guess some people can debate that, but that's my opinion. And best of all, I'm able to love you with my whole heart and not half. You are the first boy I ever said I love you to, and I will always hold that close to my heart. You are the first one to fight for me when it got hard and not just run away. It is crazy how God works because neither of us were looking for a relationship when we got together. Sure you weren't looking for I was one month away from moving sure to Nashville, weren't. Tennessee, and the last thing I thought would happen would be to start a relationship. Long distance was one of the hardest things we have ever done as a couple, but it was such a defining moment in our relationship. 
We learned so many things while I was away, and those are lessons that have made us the strong couple we are today. Jacob Austin, you are my soulmate and everything I want and need. What's going on there? You make me feel safe. Uh, that that did not look like the same footage, but yeah, whatever whatever this was is funky looking. Lower resolution, something's going on there. Everything I want and need. You make me feel safe, you make me feel loved, and most importantly, you help me grow in my relationship with God. Only God knows what is in store for our life, but baby, it's gonna be amazing. As long as you and I promise each other that we will be by each other's side every single day for the rest of our life, we will make it. We have to be willing to wake up every day and choose to love each other. I promise that I will always choose you and only you. I promise that no matter what, no matter where God takes us, that I will be by your side. I promise that if we have a fight, I will remind you that I love you. I, I personally, I wouldn't include that stuff of them um, wearing those clothes personally. Um, not that they're terrible clothes or whatever, but it just, to me, it doesn't look very elegant. But if they loved it, it's up to up to them, of course, your personal choice too. So I promise that if you are struggling, I will lift you up with the Lord's words. I promise to always encourage you to dig into God's word and grow as a Christian. I promise to always laugh at your jokes, even if I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> I promise that I will always have blonde moments. Okay, I gotta skip these drafts. They're too boring. All right, let's move on. We'll back it up a little. We gotta show the the aisle shot. You got a little camera jiggle there. Um, a lot of this stuff, like I said, I don't know if the film has to, if if they just demanded this stuff, but I, I would say like when you have jiggles and, and, and you're doing your editing, just looking for just even the composition of this shot right here, right? I don't want to see those speakers and I don't want to see those lights. Like you, like bring it down um, and give it a little, let the thing... Um, it's probably the stream audio, Michael, but also it might be a little tinny. It's it's really, I mean, the music is cranking, so the stream's probably struggling with the. And also, let me make sure I don't have some uh, limiter on this thing too. Oh, I do. I'm gonna turn the limiter off. My bad, guys. But yeah, like thinking about your composition right here, and just not not showing bad, ugly stuff. You know, in general, throughout the film, just hide hide the ugly stuff um and yeah you, i think you'll be better off so um but also cut things that where there's like jumps and jiggles and, and just pay a little more attention i think when you're doing your edits That dude's ro rolls are rough. <laughs> it's fun. That, that's a fun sequence right there. 
I actually kind of like how it looks, what actually. I don't mind it. Dude marriage. I think just being together all the time, I think, um, you know, for us, it was hard because we started off being apart. We started off uh, kind of with that long distance stuff and with her living in Nashville. And I'm just excited for, you know, her to be, you know, in my life all the time, even through the uncomfortable times and the happier times. I'm just I'm really, really excited for that. Doing every day. This is just my opinion. I don't really I think you should have just. um, Ended it there. I don't think you should have had them come back on because I was like, yeah, epic moment. And now it's kind of just I would have just ended it, fade the music out. But, you know. Maybe use this stuff early. There's a lot of talking in the film. It's very long. I don't, I'm not sure you needed this. Life with each other and figuring out new adventures and new new adventures like to do together and just doing life really. I mean, that's what marriage is all about: new adventures. Um, well, like for like a couple months, it's about that. Hey, so um, great job. Um, first of all, I did want to, I kind of I criticized the film and um. And, you know, talked some smack, but, um, but at the end of the day, I, I think it's a good, a good film. And, and that's your first film. That's here. Here's what I'll say. The hard parts, which are the audio, um, and just capturing everything you, you did a great job with that thing. And that's the thing that takes, I think the most experience. I think the thing you're going to learn next is understanding, um, Understanding when to use what lenses, I think understanding combination white balances and combination exposures and, <clears throat> and choosing the right decision. <clears throat> I think you need to add a longer lens. Um, by the way, Benj, I, I got something for you. Check it out. Um, Benj is here. So I added some background music to the live stream. So using my audio pads too. um, um, but anyway, I think, I think, um, that <laughs> <Ben's> like, like, <laughs> I think that there's a lot to like here. Um, and so I kind of want to just go through a little bit. Um, so you got like this stuff here. Um, like one of the things I noticed throughout the film is your skin tones are all over the place. And, and, and one of the things with really good filmmakers who are, let me pull this back up. Uh, ch -ch -ch. People who are really experienced, um, they nail skin tones. That's a big thing. So you want to look, there's a lot of things. She looks very red, um, a little oversaturated, almost um, like, like she has spray tan on. And you don't want that. So you want to get these skin tones to be nice and natural looking. And there's a lot of ways to do it, but this is a lot of magenta and a, a little too much saturation. So you want to, when you want to look at that, um, there's a lot of little jumpy shots throughout. And so we're kind of talking about cinematography and editing kind of all rolled into one. And then we got the classic blue shirt that should be um, in the background. Um, doesn't help. But the blue shirt, you want to look in as you're shooting, you always want to say, is that white? Is it white in my camera? Um, if you can get that thing to look white in your camera, it'll be easier in post. Um, and then the the blue dress. I always bring up the blue dress. Um, so, yeah. So you want to look at that. And what's crazy is then, look. That's her real color of her dress right there. The only time I think it's okay to have a off color is a situation like this. Now it's a little too dark. I would have liked to see a backlight there um, or something to frame them, but I don't mind the color because these orange um, things right here are really showing people like, you know, Hey, look, they're outdoors. It's warm. It's nice. Um, you know, so I would say just looking at that and saying like color is storytelling in situations like this. Really, it's all about like the human eye, right? And the human eye knows what it is supposed to be seeing in any given moment. And um, and when when it's not seeing that, it will kind of be like, that looks weird. That looks weird. And when you see something that's in really warm light, like people know, oh, that, that's supposed to be warm. That's supposed to be warm. So that that's not a big deal right there. Um, in terms of um, your storytelling, 
Um, I was just going to say, in general, um, I think that what you did with all that is you, you did a lot of audio. Um, I felt like I got a good sense of it. The middle section with the vows. What I would encourage you to do, sorry for the mess, everybody, by the way. I'm just kind of like, oh, no, my, my yellow box fell. Um, when, when, when you're selling people a package and, and, you're, and they're doing something terrible where they go like, all right, um, I want a hundred um, million lines of text in the middle of my thing. We always try to get them to buy something more that has that. So I'll be like, oh, I, I can give you your full, I can give you your full vows as a separate film. And like, try to get that five, especially early in your career, you need some very, very, very sick um, five minute films, really good tight films. Um, Cause it's really hard to market a 10 minute film with five minutes of vows in the middle. So still looking at that, try to get them to maybe not do Cause from a story standpoint, it just kind of bogs up the whole film. It just becomes this vows film. And there's a lot of like kind of, Oh yeah, 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 small talk that they're doing in the middle, um, which is great for them, but not great for you because you're trying to sell wedding films. Um, so the other thing that I was going to point out is the editing, which there's some weird, like there were some story parts slash editing decisions, like not cutting the tails off things. And then also um, including this, that weird um, sequence of them in their jeans. I felt a little off. And then of course I feel like the biggest editing thing that I didn't like was giving me a nice conclusion. Like you had this great climax at the end of the film, you had this great climax and it was like, it was great music. And it, it was, it felt great. And then we kind of pulled it out. We, we went back and they had started talking some more, even though these people had already talked for nine, 10 minutes. And I think it just made it drag. So, um, but I was going to say, this is me being critical because that's what you signed up for. Um, in reality, I would tell you, you did a great, great, great job. So everybody let them know what a great job you did in the comments because mo our first wedding film was probably way crappier. Um, and so that's tough stuff. And like, like I said, you, you succeeded in the areas which I think are most important, which are, um, I think, well, not maybe not most important, but the things that take the longest to learn, which are just setting your audio up. Um, I think the lighting thing is is also going to be something you're going to need to work on as well. Lighting people during speeches and and dances and whatnot. But I think you did a great job, dude, and you should be very proud. Hopefully, you enjoyed that review. Um, we're gonna do one more film really quick, and um, yeah. So so this is a film by uh, William De La Cruz, uh, First Wing Films. Um, let's see, five minute highlight film was supposed to be a, a surprise same day edit, but I got quarantined. <laughs> Isn't that this whole year is like, this was supposed to be a great year, but I got quarantined. <laughs> um, but I remember watching this film and this film is, I just, I love this couple. They, they're so awesome. So hopefully you guys love them too, but this is first swing. So here we go. Oops, sorry. I screwed up again. No. I got to select the right audio channel. We'll go back a little. I love this first shot, by the way. So it's great to see you again. Look at that. I just wanted to point out something about this sequence that they get so right. Um, it, 
If you can, I don't love, by the way, that their text is covering. So I stopped it there. I'm not a big fan of covering the people with text. That always bothers me. But one thing that they get so right in this film is really showing these people's personality. And like these people, that dude is hysterical. <laughs> and you'll see it throughout the film. And this, this, uh, his bride thinks he's hysterical. Like, and, and I just, if you can, if you can capture people's personalities like this, even the song, the song, the funniness, the goofiness, the silliness of this couple slash light, there's a lightness that is bringing to my life. Like I watch this film. It's not perfect, but I felt better after I watched it because these people made me feel better. And then the, of course the song choices are very appropriate. And I think um, you guys are going to enjoy this film, but I just wanted to point out like that first sequence is gold. If you can pull out, um, if you can pull out really with these, with your films and sh show a part of your couple this way and make them look, these people look like they're going to want to show this to their kids because they look like they're having such a good time. And it's like, your dad was hysterical. Your dad made your mom laugh so much. Um, so if you can do that with your wedding film, you're you're doing a great job with story. To me, this is good storytelling. Wow. Japanese home cooking. Ang sarap nito. <laughs> there are many ways to communicate. Kaya para sa inyong dalawa, sana you always find time to communicate with one another. Siguro kahit pagod na kayo, communicate pa rin. So that's good motion right there. I mean, there's some stuff in the getting ready um, that I don't... It looks like there's a tricky situation in terms of lighting, but but I just I really dig the um just the way he chose to tell story and um yeah, it's just cool. And that's a cool motion shot using that foreground. <laughs> Um, is this Tagalog or that, and I know so there's English in there too, but is this, are the, um, I'm, I'm curious what kind of, uh, what kind of wedding this was, but anyway, really, really cool. All right. Way of saying it. And I think that's the most true way of saying it. This is also one of the best covered Catholic style ceremonies I've ever watched in terms of like trying to make it fun. Get the warm welcome to our groom and bride. I'm going to just, if you're a newer filmmaker, I want to show you a, a move that's always key. And this is a reveal. Oh, this guy's so funny. <laughs> He's like in his, in his <laughs> look at that guy. Um, but this is what I love is this is a kind of an interesting ceiling that we're gonna see, and they're using the ceiling to communicate the motion because it's got lines on it, right? So that's great. And then you reveal something. So a lot of people do push-ins, right? They kind of just push in to nothing, and um, those kind of push in, and then they'll show nothing. But if you can do your push in details of like the um, reception or the whatever room you're trying to show, and then when you drop, you show something that's story driven, it's even better. And of course, here we're going to see cool tent they got married in, reception room, and then they're dancing. So it's cool. Get the warm welcome to our groom and bride, Mr. Kenneth Fernandez and Mrs. Alexis Bahillo. Official, official peace. Okay, Kenneth, we now peace here.
<laughs> I'll start it off by continuing what my parents wanted to say to me. Opo, magpapakabait po ako. Opo, mamahalin ko po si Alex ng Lobosan. I'm so into this shot. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. So, these people are great though. Don't these people make you guys feel good? Don't you wish you got to shoot their wedding? <laughs> Lobosan, opo, hindi ko po kayo kakalimutan. Dadalaw ako every weekend para makilaban. Hindi ako mawawala kasi hindi kami magpumamayikbait. Ito lang ako. And we'll, I'll always be checking up on you and checking up on the things that we need. Cool ring shots. So there's a lot of um. Sorry about that. We're the stream seemed to be glitching a few minutes ago. Um, but this stuff right here, I, I believe what they're doing is they're actually moving their lights, and I think it's a post zoom, but maybe not. Maybe they have like an assistant or something swinging the lights over while they do a gimbal little push or use a slider. But this is just smart. This is just smart. I mean, if you're wondering, how do I make this stuff more interesting? Um, add some light. And if you really can get crazy, add some light with some movement on the light and in camera. And then you get an interesting couple of detail shots. Oh. And then they hit that ba -ba with a little um, transition there. But what I liked is three shots, not super, super long. Just right there. They're just beautiful. Three shots, quick, made the impact they needed. A lot of people are like, this shot is dope. And then they hang on it for like 20 minutes. It's like, it was good for like five seconds. And and usually a, a detail shot like that is better in small doses. And so very tasteful, very well done. So you can say what you want about... Um, showing a lot of a ceremony uh, and some people don't like that when i see this i know it's important to the couple so that's dope too but at the end of the day we always realize ng panginoon ang nagdala sa atin ngayon dito siguro kung hindi dahil sa panginoon you will not meet each other hindi kayo magkikita Diba, marami tayong mga pagsubok nung nakaraang taon, hanggang ngayon, pinaharap pa rin natin yung mga pagsubok na yan. Andun pa rin ang Panginoon sa buhay natin. Hindi tayo pinabayaan ng Panginoon. So there's a lot of movement, right? And I could see maybe some people wouldn't like it. I kind of enjoy a lot of those post zooms and I feel like it makes it more interesting. I, I, I think you can go too far with that stuff, but I, I'm really, I'm pretty psyched on how it looks because it makes this boring ceremony feel, um, feel like it's moving. I don't feel like it's dragging. Like, it's it's very interesting film because it's not this is like a basic wedding with awesome people by the way so in that in that way it's not basic but you're talking like a basic normal wedding that a lot of us would be shooting every weekend the type of wedding where people would be complaining about it going like this wedding sucks it's a catholic ceremony blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and they were like no this is special. These people are special. How can I do it in an interesting way? So um, this, I think a lot of that was done in post. And then, of course, there's the gimbal stuff as well. And uh, that really means how sweet, how sweet is that? Even for the things I hated about myself, so sweet. These people are amazing. Let me love you more, baby. Pipilitin ko rin na mas maging mabait sa mga bagay na nakakainis. Pipilitin ko maging mas pasensyoso. 
Uh, pipilitin ko rin mas uh, isupport ka sa mga bagay na mas ikabubuti ng pagsasama natin together. I'm excited to spend the rest of our lives together. And I love you. <laughs> We're here, alive, able to have this wonderful moment with all our relatives whom um, I haven't seen in, in what feels like forever. The tears are because of that. Just so much gratitude and joy for, for today's event. So, um, I'm just a fan of... Um, this is real motion. Um, I will say it's a little dark. There's, I, I think actually throughout the film, there, there's... Um, it's pretty dark. I would have liked to see some backlight in any of these shots. I have no idea if you could have. Uh, I know in various Asian cultures, there's a lot of rituals throughout the day, so you can't always just be popping lights up. But um, I did notice that throughout the film. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Because at the end of the day, we are all family. At the end of the day, that's a very wonderful thing to have, uh, one solid family. These people are fun. Um, just so you guys know, I did drop the stream down to 720. Um, it was 1080, but... Uh, we, I mean, I don't think we need better upload speeds. It's on a, it's just, I think it's the uh, restream service. Um, because yeah, we're actually plugged into ethernet over there. So it's probably like 20 MBS up minimum. So it should be plenty fine, but you know how it goes. So, um, yeah, I just dropped the stream. It is fast moving, so I can't keep up. So it will be slightly worse resolution, but hopefully it at least has a little bit less, um, lag so hopefully this helps guys but i was gonna say um i wanted to go back to this um little sequence so one, one of the things um there's some stuff there that looks a little zombie-ish to me in terms of the skin tones and whatnot um and the lighting i would have liked to see some more like better video lights on the couple but one thing I do like is that you showed a lot of people in the wedding um, who are there. And I think people really, really value, um, really, really value showing their friends um, at the reception. And that's something when you're the more experience you get, the more you realize people really want to see their friends and family at weddings. So, um, yeah, that's that. So let's check it out. Keep going. Blue lights in that room, man. That's tough. This is a good shot to end it on, though. This is good stuff. Um, I really like that film. I, I, I really do. I, I think... It just, it kind of reminds me of um, why I like making weddings. That's First Wings Films. Um, if you guys want to check out their work, go check them out on the grams and whatnot. But um, so, you know, there's a lot to like there. Um, and I wanted to show the film because it, it reminded me of why we get to do what we, we or why we like doing what we get to do. Um, which is you work with people, you make them happy, you get to show people on their best day. Now, we don't always have couples with that much personality and, and that much authenticity, but when you do, you want to make a film that highlights it. What I like is, like, I do not like those songs, like, personally, but those are the right songs because it's, it's just schmaltzy music that really pulls out the emotion of the day and makes the people, um, their personalities pop. And I really like that and made me feel good. There's a lot of beautiful shots. The opening shot is uh, the Beatles shot. I love, if you can get a Beatles shot in there, this opening shot is just, I want to just show this opening sequence one more time because I like it so much. First of all, if you didn't notice, he backs that thing up, which I like a lot. Um, so, what? Uh, well, right here. 
I'll show you guys this opening sequence one more time. Look how happy these people are. So it's just nice. It's just nice. I would have liked that um, stuff of her in her room to be less green, um, but I can't get I can't get too picky because it's it's just good stuff. So I would say let's just talk cinematography. I think you're talking very good shooter. Uh, There's a lot of challenging situations, a lot of bad light throughout that day, and so you're dealing with a lot of challenging situations, and mostly you passed it, you nailed it. There's some very good shooting in there. I mean, I, I think it was great. From a story standpoint, I think it's real good. Real good. Great editing, too. I mean, I think some of the green and blue tones, you could have maybe done a better job with the skin tones because their skin tones right here are really nice. And I would have liked to see you aiming for those skin tones throughout the film. Um, I don't love when you're covering people like that um, with – with the words. Cause I just don't want to see that. I want to see the couple. Um, I think maybe at the end, I would have liked to see a little bit more on a tighter lens from time to time. That's this is me being a little nitpicky, but I, I think I would have liked to see that. I think it would have helped the film a little bit. Um, cause you could tell you were just kind of spinning around at the end on a gimbal. Um, but other than that, I don't have too much bad to say. I think the editing was good. I mean, I, I mean, what do you guys think? Because do you guys understand? Like, do you guys get what I'm saying about this film? How just interesting it is because of what they're working with this very normal wedding day in a Catholic ceremony, and yet it felt popping, energetic, and it just felt good. So, um, I'm gonna go to another film, but um, but yeah, it was great. So while we're doing that, I want to tell you guys about. The Yolo Box by Yolo Live, uh, one of our great sponsors. Um, they're actually the sponsor of this, and they're a great partner. We really love working with them, and uh, we actually use this product. We used it before we even got involved with Wedding Film School. Jared and I did, and Bobby uses it as well. And so we have experience with it. And if you're looking for an all-in-one live streaming tool that will allow you to do switching and then records too, keep that in mind. You can record a edited version if you have somebody there just cutting between cameras. Um, and this thing is great. It's easy. And um, yeah, we got a link that Jared's going to drop in the comments for anybody looking to um, maybe purchase one of these. And I will say this, when you purchase something from one of our affiliates, um, it helps us, it helps our channel. So if you're thinking, oh, I want to buy that, buy it from us or through us. It doesn't cost, it doesn't uh, cost you anything extra and it just helps the channel. So if you want to support us, um, love this thing. So yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. So um, before we kind of get into the other things, like how's everybody doing? How's everybody's week? Um, you know, weddings are coming up for everybody. So, okay. so we got another one from us. Love photography. Um, let me make sure I got the right film up. Do you guys like the background music too? Okay, so this one might get us roasted because I, I couldn't get the music. Yeah, wedding season coming up. All right, so this is a film from uh, Love Photography, I think is what it's called. Um, and it's just, I think it's a uh, an, actually an engagement film. So that's, or like a save the date film or something like that. So so I, I liked it because it's 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 a little bit of a different vibe than what we're used to on here, but I wanted to show it. So let's check this thing out. Um, it's actually it's really beautiful. You guys are gonna like how it looks. <sighs> Same dumb issue. That one more time. Come. 
Hear a story of the soul. Searching for each other. Time. Distance. Top is no longer a matter for us. That's some weird color there. Uh, back there, I'm not. I think the whole film actually could use a little more saturation. Um, I do. I like the vibe, but I think it needs a little more saturation. But um, I I wonder about the audio, and I was I was hoping they were going to come on, but they didn't answer my email. Boo. Um, but um, I wonder if that's like the actual bride or or bride to be. Um, reading that or if it's just a voiceover or I'm not sure, but, um, it sounds nice and, um, yeah, it's beautiful looking as well. It's interesting. Like, I, I wonder how many of you guys have done something like this before where you've done a, um, a film where you used this much like, um, recorded voiceover. Like, like it has like, it's a story of voiceover. So I'm always interested in, in who's tried stuff like this in their films. <laughs> Hold on, I want I want you guys to know this, the stream's lagging a little bit, so I want to get this one in there. This is just uh, very thoughtful. Sun will rise. And I'm so grateful to see you. My future. Here's what I like about this. Uh, besides that, it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> um, the film is gorgeous. Um, as American people, we don't get to see there's there's stereotypes you have of people. Um, when you look and, and you see films, what I love about being in the wedding industry is getting to spend time with people from other cultures and realizing that we're we're very similar. We're very much the same. Um, the silliness, the romance, like you would think this film would be very serious too. And I think that's one of the great story elements that they put in there is they could have made, they made very serious songs. I think a lot of the color grading, the shooting style lends itself to cinematic serious, but yet they're still showing this couple really connecting and being funny and being cute and all these things. And, and like, so you're feeling this connection to this couple and it'd be very easy to be like, Oh, look, you know, there's this very serious people. Right. But no, and, I, and so I really enjoy that part um, when I'm watching the film. And I think you did a great job just uh, pulling um, personality of the couple. I mean, it doesn't seem like you had to pull too much out of them because they seem crazy about each other and w ready to have fun and all this stuff. Um, and you, you didn't leave it out. And I like that because it seems like you made this beautiful cinematic film. You, you, you have these gr time lapses in this gorgeous location and all these gorgeous locations. And yet you're still putting in this, the story is this couple is in love and that is clear and pulled out. Um, I don't know if this was used to invite people to the wedding or what it was, but it's great. I want to go back and look at, oh, that's gorgeous.
This is a really great shot. Composition A plus. Love it. Oh, so good. Um, the, you can learn a lot from this film of what to do with this type of film. I mean, I haven't got a lot of chances to make a film like this, to be honest, but, but if I was going to, I'd want it to be this good. Um, I would want it to tell a story like this, which what's interesting is like, what does it mean to story tell? Are you telling about the sequence of events that happened on a wedding day? Or are you telling about a person? And I think a film like this is saying, look at these people, look at who they are. Well, look at what they're like. It's celebrating their love. It's awesome. Great locations, all this stuff. I, I love it. And it's nice and short. Pretty decent, right, guys? Pretty. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's. I mean, just whatever, right? <laughs> no. Here's the thing I love about this film. First of all, if you're watching this to get better, um, I would tell you this is a two minute edit. They did this. This is a two minute edit, and it did not feel like it was lacking content. I don't. I don't feel that. I felt like it felt full of content, full of relationship building, and and I think one of the things that most people who are um when they're starting out is they don't really they everything is too long everything is too long and uh, this was short um and maybe that's what they paid for but i i think what you can see that it was focused on delivering the best possible story and you know showing these people who they really are and also just showing the dopest looking shots this right here this light i mean what, where is this wedding or this getting ready? Where is this shot? Like, I, I gotta, I, I need to know this. Please, if you end up ever watching this, please let me know where you shot this thing. Um, because I want to go there. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but this thing was, um, just done everything intentionally. I, I really, the cinematography is amazing. The story is amazing. The The sound design was great. I don't really have anything bad to say. My personal opinion is I'd like to see a little more saturation, a little more contrast. But I think we could. Um, I think we could all, you know, some people might not agree. And so it's this is where you start getting into the realm of personal opinion on what looks good and what looks bad. Um, but I would give this film... A, a plus and i love showing you guys cool stuff like this from people like who i've never heard of like and you know i'm assuming that they're very successful wherever they're from great stuff so love it great great work let's get another film up guys huh what are you guys drinking tonight all right so we got, I believe this is Michael DeLuca. I believe this is your film. No, no, no. This, yeah, no, yeah, I think it is. I think this is Michael DeLuca. I'm going to tell you, Michael, your colors is awesome. Um, and so if you like good color, you're going to like this film. If you don't like good color, you're going to hate it. If you're like the type of person who wants bad color when you watch a film, um, this is not going to be the film for you. Um, but if you like good color, you're going to like this one. So it's really dope. And I'm excited to show it to you if I ever could get this stupid thing to work. Um, go, go back on. There we go. All right. So here we go. Um, you're here, so let me. I was going to ask you a couple of questions, Michael. Um, so this was A7S3, 4K 10 bit, um, which you could see only four hours of coverage, um, you know, which is tricky. That I, I'm assuming this was because of COVID protocols. 
Um, but I was, and this is what he says. I was able to provide two minute highlight film for the couple. They were ecstatic about it. The only difficulty was making the proxies after the weddings because they look, uh, take a long, yeah, that does take a long, uh, shoot. 4K shooting. Yes, that is a whole thing. I want to just, I'll point this out while we're here. Um, Jared and I just got um, another 120 terabytes for our NAS, um, two NAS and a new NAS, a new QNAP NAS. And so we've just been, I've been migrating NASs and doing all this stuff all week. Once you get into that 4K realm, you are just devouring storage. So, um, but you're going to like this film. So let's check it out. Oh no, I did it again. Guys, I'm, why can't I just do the one? Why can't I control five different things at once? What's wrong with me? Here it is. Okay. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Josh. I cannot believe this day is finally here. When we met 17 years ago, I was completely smitten and it was love at first sight for me. I know my dad would be so proud that I chose you. You're my best friend, the love of my life. You're my lifelong accomplice. I love your eagerness and hard work ethic. I promise to be by your side through the sweet and sour. And I Let's just look at those skin tones. Let's just look at those skin tones. Let's just, this is how you do it, Michael. This is how you do it. Those highlights. Did you move her there? Or did they just choose to stand there? The backlighting, it's just, oh, it's, it's sexy. The colors are so good. Um, if you notice, like pretty much Jared and I just only look at color. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's, but the shooting is good. The editing is good too. The detail shots at those beginning are just beautiful. Like this right here is interesting because you're dealing with a boring thing. And these shots can like sometimes annoy the crap out of me. Um, when people are just like, look at this flower. Um, but this is movement flower that tells a story, right? Uh, this is fall or winter, right? So it's a storytelling element. And then you've got this great light that's hitting those things. It's all about light guys. <laughs> like that's all that matters with this crap that we do is like get people in good light and shoot it. That's, that's what makes a good wedding film. First sight for me. I know my dad would be so proud that I chose you. You're my best friend, the love of my Ooh. life. You're my lifelong accomplice. I love your eagerness and hard work ethic. I promise to be by your side through the sweet and sour. And I promise to be by your side through sickness and through health. I take you as my wife and I give you my hand. With that shot right there and a lot of those details, you're shooting super shallow. What lens are you using for that sh super shallow stuff? Um, it, it, it looks, it's, it's so creamy and, and delicious looking. I just want to eat it. No matter what we endure, we come out on top together, and you always make sure of that. Josh, I want you to know that you are the best part of my every day. I hope you know that this... Everybody's crying at this wedding. Everybody's crying at this wedding. Sorry for the lag, guys. Uh, okay, which which is ice? Which, is, which line is that? Um... The Zeiss, if you guys haven't used uh, some of the Zeiss, the Betis and the, and the Melvis line or any of those, um, they just have this interesting contrast to them um, and a nice warm skin tones. If For those of you guys that have not experimented with a lot of different lenses, different manufacturers' lenses look totally different. Like the Sigma lenses are always blue to me. The Canon lenses are always spiking magenta. The Zeiss lenses, to me, always are doing this contrasty warmth thing. And so I, I, I love I love that. They look beautiful. Means the world to me. Wonder, was that ring shot handheld or on a gimbal? Anyway.
So I'm going to give you one. Yeah, that's tough. Those, 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 um, those, uh, parallax shots. I, I always, I suck at those, but anyway, my, I'll give you one criticism on the whole film. I really was hoping you would level, like bring the drama down a little on the music. Um, it just, it was, it just, I feel like we were getting into the realm of there's super epic, epic, epic. And then we're, it was, the footage was getting less epic. And so that, that's a criticism I have from a storytelling standpoint. Um, I'm not sure we could have done about it. I understand those are challenges, but, but that's, that's maybe just an opinion too. And, and of course the footage is still beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, even there, like, I really wanted to see, like, I wanted something um, to really hit this a little harder. And and I just did, I just felt like we, we kind of missed a storytelling crescendo and we kind of just had some meh looking footage there. Um, but yeah, I do understand these situations are challenging. We don't always have the ability to get the shot we want. So, yeah. But from an editing standpoint, maybe we could have put a cooler moment on that crescendo. Was that real confetti or post confetti? Just wondering. The promise I make to you today is to be yours forever. Your wife your best friend, your right hand, your teammate, and your biggest cheerleader. So I'm going to show you guys all something that this is how you know they know what they're doing. Um, so this right here is terrible lighting, pretty much. You know, not that good looking. Um, you can tell it's tough. And I caught him in a weird mid kiss, but um, look at his skin tone. He's much lighter and she's much more tan, but it looks very similar. And so it's going to go from this shot, right? To a beautifully lit shot outside, beautiful light. And the skin tones are going to be consistent from shot to shot. I want to show you guys this because if you're learning, this is what it's supposed to look like. Your best friend, your right hand, your teammate, and your biggest cheerleader. Three different lighting environments. All the people look the same. It doesn't look like he had a, a philosophy of how he was trying to get the skin tones and he was consistent about it. Um, I, I did feel like a lot of this stuff was a little overexposed. I think you could have dropped it down a little, but. Um. I will choose you today and every day for the rest of my life. And I will love you until my very last breath. Really good. Michael, you're a great filmmaker. You do beautiful work. So, I mean, but you know that. So, um, so I was going to say, here's my opinion on this. Um, I think that you need a tighter lens in your lineup. I, I think you do. And maybe you do have one. You just don't normally use it. But I think, I feel like there were some spots where I was, Mostly I was digging that lens, right? And, and and digging the wide shots to mid shots. But like I feel like having something on a tripod, something in the long length, having that in your arsenal it would have made the film richer. And and I think a lot I, I see this a lot with uh, did you solo shoot this, Michael? Like solo solo, even without assistant. Um if you did, I mean it's great. It's a great film. Um, I think you will next level your films if you get a second shooter and you shoot all your films as a second shooter and you always have a consistent cutaway tight shot and, and you're dealing with like the stuff you do and then some, even if it's just fairly generic monopod, tripod, you know, 
tight shots and things like that. I, I think it would it would make it a little um a little better. And I think it would help a lot. But like I think you're dealing with um like you said, this was a challenging day, short, all these things. Man, the colors are so beautiful. Like, so let's just talk cinematography. Um, I have my opinions on that, but I would say overall the cinematography is incredible. Let's just go to this gold at the beginning. Just this gold. Um, beautiful, beautiful light, incredible skin tones. I actually like the grain there. Did you do film convert? Um, add a little grain to that. Um, looks great. Um, so, um, really great looking, beautiful, beautiful skin tones and incredible light and just everything great. Um, I would say storytelling, very solid. I got, I feel like I, I got to know the couple. Um, yeah, Kiwi, we're going to get to your film next week. I apologize. Um, we'll get to yours next week. I think I had a problem with the, um, your song. And so I'll, I'll email you. Okay. Thank you. Sorry for keeping you hanging around. Um, yeah, so I love that. So that's that's the way that grain looks in camera. That's interesting. Um, good digital grain is hard to find, I, but I have noticed that that Sony has really nice natural digital grain, very filmic looking. Um, all the cameras I think are improving on. Actually, I think the Black Magic's grain when it starts to get grainy is not the nicest. So you don't want to get that grain, but this looks nice. Um, really good and um, just. I would just say like always getting, getting a second shooter that you don't not use their footage. Then Michael is what I would say. Get someone who is awesome and like start making $12,000 wedding films because you've got the skills you can do it and, and get someone who's awesome who can just level you up um, and take it to the next level. Because I'm really looking going like that's an incredible looking film. Cinematography A plus. I mean, we've we've had some beautiful films tonight, guys. So normally we have maybe some newer people, and we watch. If you're watching this and you're a new filmmaker, please submit your films. We want to help you get better. We've had some beautiful films tonight, and not a lot to criticize. But my critique with this is, that, like I told you, the music to me was just wanting a little more from a visual standpoint to match the drama of the music. I wonder if you could have done something a little. Um, a little bit, I, I'm, I, I can't say what you should have done. I just think the drama, of the music didn't really match the low keyness of the day, but man, beautiful film. Really good. That's my only criticism is like, if Jared and I were editing this, I would have come in and been like, I don't know. I don't really like the song for the day. It's kind of, kind of too epic. Um, but I love the film. It's really beautiful. So, um, great job. Yeah, COVID's been rough, man. It's it's made all our films weird, I'll tell you that. Really weird. Cause um, hey, so we're gonna look at one more film, but I I want to mention our sponsor one more time. Great job, Michael. Really great job. Um The YOLO Box by YOLO Live. This thing is awesome. Jared's gonna drop a link down there. I wanted to also mention something. Um, so we have a, a weekly show as it's crookedly in the background. Um the live, the wedding sh film school show, not the live show. That's, that's what we're on now. The wedding film school show. It's a podcast. You can listen to it wherever you like podcasts. And then, um, and of course you can watch it on YouTube, but we, this week we did an episode. Um, we did an episode where we talked about business model and th that's just how our businesses make money and, 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 you know, if you're a new filmmaker, this might seem like the type of thing you don't um, really need to think about. But I'm going to drop a link in the comments for everybody. F something that we delivered this week. A lot of people have been filling it out. So let me know if you've found it helpful, by the way. Um, we did a basically a personal workbook survey on trying to help you figure out your business model. And first of all, I'd say go listen to the episode. And so you understand where we're coming from. And then fill this out. And it hopefully by the end of it, you're going to have an idea of what you want to be making. And I think a lot of people's business models, they suck. They, they don't even have a business model. They don't have a plan. Um, and so we love wedding filmmaking. We love talking about the art of our films and the films themselves. 
but we really love talking about the business side for Jared and I, and, and I know Bobby too, it is a big, big part of what we do is thinking about the business side and helping other people get better as filmmakers. And, and that's just not what we're doing. Like the whole channel is about getting better guys. It's just about getting better and making more money, making better looking films. And, and, and so that's what these critiques are about. And in the podcast, if I, we've had some people on the channel who are like, why are you doing this long content? Why are you doing this? We're doing it because we really believe that when you make film, like when you make films, it's great. If you guys know about gear, we're, we're going to keep doing the gear, the tutorials, all that stuff. But we really believe that to get better, you have to hear the way people think who are successful, who have done some things. And so we want to connect you with people, guests um, that are awesome and thinking that's different and really think about our businesses, not just our films. Um, while we're here in the live stream, we got an announcement that's coming out tomorrow. But you know who our guest is on the Wedding Film School show next week? We got Craig Adams on the Wedding Film School show. The OG, the Wedding Film School um, is coming on next week and he's going to be um, hanging out with us on the Wedding Film School show. So we're going to be dropping a little. You guys are the first to hear about that. Um, but we're dropping that and we're excited. Um, but yeah, that's what this is all about. Get better. So the last film we're going to watch tonight is by Max Smith, Kenneth Kevin Media. Um, and yeah, um, this is a, so he says, this was shot on an A7 S3 with Sigma 2470, A7 using Tamron. And the venue was Royal Park Inn in Rochester, Michigan. Um, he says, a beautiful venue. The challenge with the day was transporting the accessories all around. That's always challenging. And communicating with the photographer. Um, you needed a card to go up and down the floor. Those are pains on those. And um, so, yeah, it's just tough when you have those hotels where you have to go. Uh, he said, funny story about this wedding. We we're actually there only for the wedding planner. Um, we told her we'd capture some content of her working. So this is interesting. Um, so we were told about this wedding a week ahead of time and figured we'd shoot it for a while while we were there. We weren't given any timeline, vendor, contact info, any nothing. We didn't even met the bride and groom until we got there. So the entire wedding film was most was the most I planned thing we done, unplanned thing we've done. Um, that stresses them out. His prices are twenty five hundred, thirty two hundred, four thousand. You know. Um, we shoot, Jared and I shoot a lot of films where we don't really know the couples and those types of situations. Um, um, but yeah. So anyway, let's watch the film. Here we go. Do you guys like the jams, by the way? You, is, that, is that a nice little addition to the show? Here we, here we go. I did the, literally the same mistake. Me, don't be like me, guys. What do I know about anything? Christopher, I certainly wasn't looking for you. At that point in my life, I was just praying, and I was praying hard for clarity, direction, and peace. And then there you were. It was like this incredible force and pull towards each other that was undeniable. And you popped up everywhere. Almost like God was saying, he's right here. He's in front of you. Your grandma and I chose him exactly for you. Without a doubt, you were handpicked for me. So this is a video with a very stylized color. Um, um, <laughs> uh, but you know what's funny about Craig Adams is People are always like, oh, we want Craig. We want Craig back. Craig back. And literally, most of the time, they spell his name wrong. <laughs> most of the time, it's Craig Adam, Craig with a C, all these things. Um, so, yeah, you're not alone. Most of it, most people are spelling Craig wrong. Um, but, yeah, um, what, what's interesting about this film is you're dealing with um, – it's very stylized in the color. And so I, I'm not going to get too picky about the whites because there's a consistent style to the color grade. Um, it's at that brownish kind of thing and it looks nice. It looks, it looks intentional. It doesn't look messy. Um, music is good by the way. And I, I really like the sound, but like, honestly, the sound bites in this film are really beautiful. Um, it tells a great story. So here he's in front of you. Your grandma and I chose him exactly for you. Without a doubt, you were handpicked for me. 
It's certainly been a wild ride with a lot of twists and turns and unknowns. But when times got tough or a bit tricky, you not only stayed, but you pulled me closer. You embraced me, and more importantly, you accepted and supported London. I surrender to everything God has in store for us, for our family, and for our love story. Look at those awesome wrinkles. I love when you can show an older person and just pull out that age and that experience in that shot. And it's just, uh, it's great. Here's what I like about this sequence too. This was clearly like, Hey, let's go to this good light and shoot this. This is not hard to do, but I see so many wedding filmmakers screw this up because they don't want to have the conversation. I swear. So, so guys get people in good light, get them in good light and shoot people in good light. It, it will literally make your film 20 times better if you just refuse to shoot bad light and you only shoot good light. I mean, you can't always do that, but I would think in general, try to get people in good light, shoot good light. I surrender to everything God has in store for us, for our family and for our love story. I will never understand what I did to deserve you, but I'm eternally grateful God placed you in my life at the exact moment I needed. I promise to love the heck out of you. I promise to celebrate every little win with an overwhelming amount of enthusiasm and support you when things get hard. I promise to be a true teammate, someone you can lean on, and certainly someone you can laugh with. Our adventure as a couple and as a family is just beginning. I love you more than yesterday and less than tomorrow. You have my heart forever, Christopher Daniel, and I'm so proud to be your wife. There's some bad light there and it still looks good. So that's how you do it. Kelly, while we both traveled a bumpy road to get here is because of those experiences that we knew exactly what we wanted in a partner when we first met. It's these past experiences that also drive us to love more deeply each day, knowing how fortunate we are to have one another. Our love is not conventional, but it's perfect because it is ours. I promise to always put you first. I don't like this song, by the way. It's just going on and on and on, Droney. I would have maybe picked something a little more, um, you know, that had a little more different parts even. It just feels like it's going, I think the cinematic thing that a lot of people are doing, um, there's a time and a place for it, but every once in a while I, I tell people, like, just kind of get, get moving, get the song moving. Um, I feel like this is dragging and it's making the film feel like the film is dragging, even though it's beautiful, beautiful footage. To be faithful to you, to honor you and cherish every moment that we spend together. And also love a good hallway push while we are apart. London, I promise you that I'll be the best stepdad that I can be and vow to be there for you from this day forward. Okay, again, bad light shot well, right? Bad light shot well. That's how you do it. You're an amazing little girl, and I want you to know that you can always count on me if there is anything that you need. Kelly, I stand here before you today as a changed man because you've allowed cool. me to see life in a different light, one that is filled with more laughs, smiles, hugs. So there's a storytelling element there. She had a kid. She has a kid. You know, he's marrying a woman who has a kid already. It's important to them. Um, the only thing I feel about this film, too, is like, I feel like the getting ready stuff, like we're more than halfway through the film and we're still getting ready. And I feel like um, now again, I can't speak towards all the, what you were able to film, but I feel like it, it feels like it's dragging a little. In cases than I could ever imagine. You bring the Beautiful best out dress. of me and I vow to give you everything I have mentally, physically, and emotionally for the rest of my days. Thank you for being the amazing woman that you are. I love you. Nice. Finally, someone who did a nice two cam first look where they showed both people's faces. Very intentional, thoughtful, like it. Nice little speed up. That feels good. Got the daughter in there.
I want to say, I was watching this film. This is one of my favorite um, pre-wedding. I, I'm going to steal this shot. This, this shot coming up. This pat, like, it's so smart passing through the people like that using your gimbal. It's so smart. This is the secret. I think one of the best shots in the whole film. And one of the, such an interesting way to cover this where you're using your gimbal going down the aisle like this. Look at that. I wish I almost wanted it to be a little bit longer. Like I just, it was such a good way to do that. Um, anyway, and you're getting to see all the friends and family here. So yeah. I love this location. Look at all those windows. Beautiful. Um, yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous. A little red, but I don't really mind it. It's, it, it you know, oh, I love this shot. I, I'm going to give you a minor criticism on a incredible shot. More about, I wonder. I wonder if you would have dipped that shot down a little, cut that exit sign, and then showed the reflection of their entire body in the floor. I think it would have been a little nicer. But I love the shot. It's also crooked. But I love the shot. And oh, such smart, good storytelling. I mean, I have a daughter, so when I see things like this, I get the feels. Real, I mean, you, you guys are very skilled shooters, very good storytellers. I mean, this is just a, a lot of good stuff if you're watching this to learn from. Man, I can't wait to shoot things again. I would have liked to see those eyes open on the Bane from an editing standpoint. Um... I would like to see, boom, I'll show you. Yeah, it's a little late. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's, so that's the film. A lot to like there. Um, So really, really good stuff. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I want to hear from you guys. Um, you love the film. Oh, I don't see how you could hate the film, um, but... What do you guys think? Because I want to, I want to hear from it. Um, one of the things that we do, we actually have a membership. So if you see in YouTube, there's a memberships thing. They get priority in the film review. So go sign up for memberships right now if you want. It's very, you know, I, they're cheap. They they're very cheap. I, I mean, they're like around five bucks a month for memberships. And then there's also some private film reviews you can get with them and a bunch of different things. So if you want your film reviewed, um, we try to get to our people who have memberships first um, and at least try once a month. If they do a submission, at least get them in once a month. So if you really want to get your film critiqued, um, sign up for memberships. Um, and of course, um, we have coaching. So if you are a person that wants private coaching session with business advice and the whole thing. Um, feel free to head over to weddingfilm.school. we got resources on there. we got some coaching signups on there. Um, and man, I really want to, I want to start connecting with you guys and talking about your businesses because I think the filmmaking is great, but the secret is going to be in how you market and sell this stuff, how you connect with people. Um, ultimately that stuff I think he's going to really make a big difference even more so than your films, but this was a beautiful film. So let's talk about it. The cinematography I would say is great. Like I, I, I don't really have I feel bad tonight. Cause you guys, I'm used to like ripping into people, but I guess we're just attracting a very, very, f the fine wine of wedding films, these beautiful, beautiful films. Be and what I like is like, we've had like very different takes, right? We've had like, this is kind of like that, hipsterish color grade but a very elegant wedding we had um that an asian wedding with a very um desaturated look and then we've had um what 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 um michael's doing which was like a very orangey look but like all beautiful all incredible looking 
just so much cool stuff to learn from. Yeah, I love the color grade in the ceremony. The greens from the plants really were sticking out to me. But this is a beautiful film. Um, the the aggressive pushing of the highlights was an interesting choice, and I liked it. Um, the I do think I probably like a shot like this. These deep shadow things. I probably would have toned down the orange on the skin a little just so that the skin didn't look so red. Um, but in general, I loved it. I think the storytelling was great in terms of like, you're pulling out these elements of the daughter with the dress over here. You're kind of, there's a lot of storytelling elements there that are just telling these, the journey of the couple, you know, you're seeing a lot going on there and like storytelling at a wedding film is not about audio. It's about what are you communicating about the people? Like, and I think people oftentimes think it's all about like, how much audio did you put in? Well, no, it's about how effectively did you communicate who these people are and what was their story? I knew the, who, what their story was. I could get their vibe on some level. And this wasn't even your couple really. So I think the storytelling was great. Um, in terms of um, stuff I would, I would change, I just didn't like the song. I didn't like the song and I felt like it didn't really match the day. And it, it just, it, it actually, it brought the film back. It's a beautiful footage, great storytelling. And then the song, I feel like it just didn't really help the film. I feel like it kept holding you back right when you were about to launch. The song was like spinning down the drain. Um, and I feel like a better song choice would have been there. And th this is a tricky part. It's like, Oftentimes I don't know how to critique this because I, I think choosing songs is one of the hardest things to do in wedding filmmaking. And it's one of the things that will set people apart. Go watch Henry Martin's films. One of the things about Henry's films are that Henry is great at picking songs. Alex Douglas is great at picking songs. Sharon from, um, from fear films, great at picking music. Um, and, and so I would say if you want to level up a little bit, I would say kind of refine that palette a little and try to think through what is the most appropriate. Now, maybe the maybe the planner really wanted a song like this. I can't really speak towards that. That Some of it is also just maybe my opinion, but I did feel like in terms of the editing side, um, it dragged a little bit and it could have maybe picked up the pace a little. So great film. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the live stream tonight. Hopefully you had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Again, um, we have the downloadable resource that we were, we released this week, um, which, which is to help you analyze your business model. So the link is in the comments. If you want to, um, do that, head on there, download the resource. We also have coaching sessions. If you'd like to get some one-on-one -on -one coaching to talk about your business or talk about film critiques. And then of course we got the YOLO box who has sponsored our stream and who've made great products that we use for our wedding film companies, um, and we love them. So go check it out. Check out the YOLO box. Thank you so much for supporting wedding film school. We got tons of stuff down in the description to buy that helps our channel out. And of course you can get a membership, join our Facebook group as well. It's a great community. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, thanks for being part of the team. Have an awesome night guys. Thank you for hanging out on the wedding film school.